Hey boo, my name is Kira, and on this side of town, we cover all things travel, budget friendly travel, and that, that. So if that's something that you're interested in, honey, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and thumbs up this video? I promise you, it will never be a dull moment. I'm gonna always keep it 100, very honest and very thorough when it comes to my reviews. your girl sailed on virgin voyages i believe it was like september 28th to november 2nd or 3rd or something like that we sailed to the dominican puerto plata and bimini bahamas i don't know about you but i didn't know anything about this particular cruise line until it stalked the hell out of me on facebook and i dug deeper and realized that this cruise ship is an adult only cruise lines so you have to be 18 years of age and older and honey i don't know about you but i was immediately sold i know a lot of people like to know the demographics and who is this cruise catered towards i would say as long as you like to have a good time and come with an open mind anybody can do it okay i believe like the typical age range was probably be about if i could guesstimate 25 to 55 or some older than that as well there's also mixed if you're caring about race it was like a melting pot honey it was a little bit of this and a little bit of that i felt like i seen somewhere where people were concerned about it being a swingers cruise and i wanted to be sure that i wasn't signing myself up my hubby up for something that we wasn't really cut out for we had no experience with this I didn't see any activities that would say that this is the case. And if it is the case, then it, we didn't get involved in any of that shenanigans. But I ain't judging nobody, honey. They grown. We all grown. So if that's the type of action that they're looking for, then honey, who the hell are us to judge? But if you was curious, this is not like a swingers based type of cruise. We paid about $1,400 for two. I would definitely recommend the lock-in rate promotion. The lock-in rate pretty much specifies that you don't get any refunds, basically. So you're locked and loaded. You can't make any changes. You can't do any updates and things like that. We booked so close to the date that we just booked this way and said a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> if you know for sure, like you're setting something, especially if you're booking closer to time, honey, I say, why not? Say that coin. Virgin Voyages is saying that they are giving more bang for your buck compared to other cruise lines. They have 20 plus eateries, dining options. All gratuities are covered. Free Wi-Fi. Basic beverages, so like your sodas and your water. Also, unlimited fitness classes, entertainment. Of course, your room and board. And I believe that's about it. Which means every Everything that I did not mention is not included. They do have classes, some of them that you will have to pay for. They did have premium internet, which I am going to get to soon. Of course, different shops and things on board like that that you may want to pay. Your drinks is not included. I will get to drink packages and so forth very soon. Now, in order to cruise, documents that are needed that we took, I'll say we traveled with, was the passport alone. I do want to mention that this particular cruise is the first cruise that is not allowing people to take COVID tests prior to booking or coming on board. I know no other cruise ships, I think, want you to do it within three days. This one doesn't have that. I also heard that they were allowing 30% or 20%, it was a small percentage of non-vaccinated people on board as well. Majority though was vaccinated guests. I do want to stress you downloading the Virgin Voyages app, honey. This is going to be your bestie, okay? You are going to be able to book things on this. You're going to be able to contact seller services, which is like guest services and everything through this app. You're going to be able to do so much you need it. You need to actually do it right now. Once you book your cruise, go ahead and download that app. Once you put in your booking information and things like that, they're going to take you through these steps, which I know include you uploading your passport, vaccination questions, taking a picture, asking if you're pregnant, your preference for embarkation. Also, this is going to be the time where you can set up your credit card. In the app, you're able to select a time frame on when you want to come. Embarkation is when you're going to arrive, 
to your cruise. I didn't see a lot of reservation slots or time frames, which concerned me a little. Even though the time frame that you select online for you to be able to show up to the ports of Miami, you don't necessarily have to come at that time, but you cannot come before. So let me just give you an example. I scheduled my time slot for 2.30. We arrived at 4.30. I could not arrive to the ship prior to 2.30. I would have had to wait. I can come, however, all the way up until boarding time, cutoff time, which was 5.15. And honey, be there on time because they all leaving, folks. We spoke with some a group of people who ended up, their other parties ended up getting left. They said they arrived five minutes after the time, honey, and they wouldn't allow them on. Okay, I guess somebody is going by the book. So just... You don't want to get in those type of situations, arrive on time. And if somebody tell you cutoff time is 5, honey, make it in your mind 430, 440, you know, because sometimes people be saying the wrong information and you don't want to get there and have been misled. I do want to say when we arrived, honey, it was ghost town. There was no lines. There was nothing going on. When we walked up, they was like, do you want to take your bags? There was somebody there on the side to take your luggage for you if you wanted that. We did do a carry-on. They took the bags, asked for our room number and everything. You're going to find your room number in your app. A few days leading up or weeks leading up to your date of travel or selling, you will get your room number. Went straight in, went up to the desk, got our wristbands, which I'm still wearing, y'all. And I'm having withdrawal, so don't judge me. We walked through the metal detector. Everything was easy breezy. I, we was in there and onto the, the cruise between five to 10 minutes. It was very quick. Now, once I got onto the ship, we immediately went to assembly station, which is very similar to a muster station like the rest of the cruise ships. I do know that you can also watch a video on your phone. Now, I'm not sure, for sure, for sure, but I'm gonna try to find out. If you watch the video, do you have to still report to the assembly station? I think you do, but I'm going to check to be sure. But that was very quick. The man, we went there, we went by the red room and the gentleman was standing there. He just put on the life vest, showed us, and then he marked us as check that we done did what we were supposed to do, baby. And it was go time. I mean, at that point, you're free to do whatever the hell you want to do. Internet. So remember I talked about internet in the beginning of the video. I talked about it. It was actually included in your fare, which it is. Internet was really, really good. Once you get on, you can ask somebody around on how is it that you can connect to the internet. Make sure you're selecting Mermaid, Scarlet, or something like that. That's the one, not the Ahoy crew members. That's for the ones who work on board. At that time, they're going to ask you for your date of birth. They're going to ask you for your room number. And then they're going to also offer you a deal, especially your first time. I'm logging on where you can pay $50 for premium internet. Now, what I was told from seller services, premium internet does not change the speed of the internet. It's more so to allow you to do a little bit more. Everything worked perfectly with their internet, just with the basic plan. I have an iPhone. I was able to reach out to my kids with text messaging, iMessaging. We were able to FaceTime. It was a little laggy here and there, but for the most part, we was able to do it compared to other cruise ships like Carnival where you have to pay in order for you to do those things. I can say I was able to log on to Facebook and do a little browsing. I was able to log on TikTok and do some browsing. I was able to log on Instagram and do some browsing. However, when it came to me trying to watch YouTube videos, I did, I did. it was not loading like it was should. Also, I was not able to upload a YouTube video. I did do a little editing while I was on vacation, baby, okay? Because the money still got to come in. When I tried to upload my video after I finished editing it, I seen that it was not working. I tried to watch a YouTube video. I seen that it was not working. I'm like, okay. So I re immediately reached out to Seller Services. They told me that I can get the premium pass. So they have a premium pass, and then they have one that you can pay for for the entire cruise ship. I know on the first day, you can pay $50 instead of $15 a day. So basically, you get one day free. Now, the pass works like so. It's not a time or an hour. So say, I was under the impression that if I bought it right now at 4 o'clock, that I will have the internet for one full day until 4 o'clock the next day. But that's not how it works. You best to buy that internet early in the morning as soon as you get up. And by the end of the day, 12 midnight, you're not going to have access to that internet anymore. So if you purchase it at 11 o'clock that day, at 12 o'clock, that's it. 
They told me that it's by upgrading and getting this premium package, I will be able to upload my YouTube video. I'll be able to stream, um, watch, like, listen to Spotify, Netflix, and things like that on my phone. And I can say that they were accurate. Once I made the $15 purchase, I was able to get upload my video. Now, it did take a little while, but it was not too long. If you are going to be doing any type of uploading, downloading, and things like that, you probably gonna wanna do the premium day package. You can do it in a day, maybe upload all that if you wanna save, or just go ahead and buy the $50 package and have it the whole cruise. Maybe it's up to you. I am going to say you do not need to because with the free Wi-Fi, it's pretty much the same Wi-Fi. It's not like it changed with the speed or anything, like increased it, made it super fast or anything like that. Like the, the Wi-Fi was pretty good. It was going great. It's just that it wouldn't allow me to upload and download. Guest services or seller services, you can reach these people in your app. You never have to step foot in line or go down to anybody if you don't want to. They do have a little area. I can't remember the deck. I'll put it here. You like to meet with somebody face to face and you have some issues or you happen to be on that deck, but you don't have to. You can literally contact someone through your app. But honey, I feel like that was the best thing they could have ever done. I would send over messages like, hey, I need a iron. At one point we need an iron. They did not have one in the room. I asked them that they have one. They said they have a steamer and they'll bring it up. At one point I had questions about one of my reservations. They was able to change it for me or tell me what to do. Anytime you need anything, Okay, you reach out, ask these people. You might just think of something and say, hey, let me go. I mean, all times of the night, honey. I was up late night asking people questions. Somebody's there and they will respond. It's pretty quick. So wristbands, I talked about that earlier. I love, love, love that on this particular cruise, you did not have to have a car. It was nice to be hands-free if you wanted to. I also want to stress that uh, use this side of the wristband and not the side that has the words if you wanted some drinks use your band if you wanted to get in your room use your band like if you're at a certain dining area you was eating and you wanted to pay for something boop, just scan your, your bracelet everything was handled with your band i also want to mention on the app you can keep up with how much you are spending throughout the day honey yes in your wallet it'll tell you how much credits you have left available it'll also tell you i um, want you to spunt where you don't spunt it at honey if you click it it'll even go break it down to specifically what exactly you purchased honey yes i really love that so that way there won't be no questions like what the hell who who did this or what what was this you never had to wonder. Let's talk about the room. Now your girl booked an interior room. I'm one of those ones that's not big on rooms and things like that. Just because I don't normally spend a lot of times in the rooms. I just need somewhere to wash my ass and go to sleep. So I love the love the room. Everything was so modern, so new, so fresh. The designs were cool. It was nice. It was neat. The bathroom on who cha. That bathroom stressed me out, honey. That's one thing I was ready to go home to, to my bathroom. Because you could not even get comfortable. Like, if you need to take a whole, sh honey, if you got long legs like your girl, I'm 5'10", honey, okay? I don't think they had in mind someone who's tall or pleasantly plumped, okay? Got more to love. They weren't considering none of us, honey. No curvy people. Um, You literally had to have your foot out at the door to kind of like have some scratch and some room. And then if you open the shower, it's going to hit you. It, the, the, the design of the bathroom is just no. They, they, you can tell they put more focus into in the room versus in the bathroom. I guess they felt like you ain't going to be in there that long, but I would have liked to have a little bit more room. My bathroom in Carnival was way bigger than the bathroom on this particular show. They had a fridge. They had uh, everything you need. TV, nice flat screen, nice size. If you're like me and you were just curious, like, what channels they have on board, they, they I'll put here on the screen, like they have a few news stations, but for the most part, they have movies that you can watch. I love that they had newer movies. Um, they had old school movies. They had movies that'll make you laugh, cry, action, whatever you like, they had it. It was a nice selection of movies and you did not have to pay for them compared to Carnival where I had to pay for certain movies, like the newer one. The best part of the room y'all get into this get into this get into this it was that you can control everything with an ipad yes you heard right an ipad now first off when you walk into the room they had like this little sensor thing come on where from what i understood that they have it where they can detect if someone is in the room so that it's a save on energy so the lights go out when you leave 
right isn't that fancy and then when you walk in you see the lights just just appear honey you ain't gotta turn shit on it just comes on for you it's almost like clap on okay without the clapping i was able to control the climate the ac i was able to order ice water uh toilet one flushing right honey press it on there you want your cabin clean when we was going out we would actually press that not all the time because most of the time they was already there waiting on us honey we're late sleepers so they be waiting on us okay what i really liked was how they had the ambiance you can set the mood and the energy like if you have a hangover you can press that button and it'll have the lights for a certain way yes you about to get it in honey okay pound game okay okay you about to get your bed blown out you can put it on the romance one and then they'll have the whole little lights come on and do this and i'm like what yes they had different than they had zen they had all different ones and it was so cute i just felt like this was so neat it was so modern and fresh and just sleek chic like i would love that type of sh in my house notice that the plugs were the regular plugs so you can take your regular charger and have no issues i was worried that you might need it to convert or anything like but you don't plenty of plugs plenty of seating space you can bid on a room also and I did it just because, but I really didn't give a damn whether if I got the bid or not, but I wanted to do it. So I think I recorded some of that. I think I have some footage here. I put it here where you can bid on a room. And basically what this is, is that you pay for the room that you want, right? With your package. But then they have where they send you a email saying, hey, if you want to bid for a better room at a lower rate, you can do that. So on here, I did that. I put the lowest amount, $75, I think I just put in just something. I just wanted to have the experience, something off. And I believe like a day or two before, they, of course, declined it, honey. But um, they went back and let me know. Now, some people I read in the group that some people was honored this privilege, but it does depend on how many people is on board. But I did see a lot, a lot of people say, and stress, if you want a specific room, it's best to go ahead and pay for it rather than trying to do the bidding wars. This cruise does not include a drink package like other cruise ships does. On board, you can bring the wine, the 750 milliliter, I think it is, the size for wines, one per person. You can also bring canned water, Sailor Loot versus bar tab. The difference between the two is that Sailor Loot is basically a tab that you have, but you can use it for whatever. You can use it for excursions, you can use it for a class, you can use it for your drinks, you can use it for whatever the hell you want to use it for. I personally like this rather than the bar tab which is strictly only for alcoholic beverages or beverages that cost like the uh juice drinks and specialty coffees and things like that champagne wine things like that how can you get seller loot there's different ways i mean the Vo virgin voyages offer different promotions based on different months criteria so just look into what's going on i know the month of november right now you're selling with a bar tab for 300 free on them i joined a facebook group because i like to do my homework sis. okay so if you like me and you like to do homework make sure you're joining these facebook groups but i joined one and i realized that they have their own some of these travel agencies have their own promotions and one of the promotions with a company fabulous adventure travels i was working along with jessica i reached out to her and let her know that i wanted to sell and i wanted to know around this time frame i want to know that they have any promotions and things like that so she went ahead and told me that they were offering a hundred dollar seller loot for the interior cabin on the cabin that i selected you are able to get more based on your type of cabin or your room and virgin also offers things like this so if you combine honey you can come out on top that was one of the main reasons why i even booked with a travel agent because i normally do my own thing but when i realized that i can get something for doing the same thing that i already was gonna do i went ahead and took advantage of that promotion i believe the bar tab however is a 300 dollars minimum i did not open up a bar tab i felt like with the hundred dollars plus maybe spending another 100 i'll be good so i didn't do it but i did hear that you don't necessarily have to put a card on file you can be able to load it on the actual ship with the seller services so make sure you look into this because i did not have this experience i can't really go into depth of it but i've heard that that is possible now you can share this amongst each other so if you're traveling with everybody you like hey drinks on me shots on me you can do that they also allow other people who's traveling with you to have their dips or hands in the pie as well you would just have to add them as one of the people under your ship you're gonna see everything that i'm talking about in your app 
I was rewarded a hundred dollar seller lube and I spent about 185 between me and my husband. Now I am gonna say that totals $285. The drinks, as far as pricing, I am a margarita, I'm a tequila girl. So shots of tequila was about, I don't know, I can't remember, but hopefully I can find it. I'll put it here. Uh, I know my margarita drink was about $10, frozen or on the rocks. Um, I had a Cosmo that was around 10, 11 ish dollars. My husband had beers that was $5 for Heineken's. Shots of alcohol. I think he had a shot of Hennessy or something that was like $8 to $10 or something like that. So I ranged from that for those type of drinks. Now, specialty drinks, like those fancy drinks with the umbrellas and all this extraness, sugary drinks. I'm going to say that because I tried a few and honey, they was too sugary, too sweet for me to, for my liking. Those were like $13 and up. Wines, different things like that, ranges. Um, bottles, ranges. The prices were pretty expensive, though, that we seen. I was like, whoo, honey, that's a little steep. You know how many bottles I can buy at home for those prices? I noticed that they didn't have any type of happy hour. I was hoping or looking for that. Can you ever get any free alcohol? Yes, on sale dates. You can go up to the top floor, get you all the champagne, honey, unlimited champagne for the sale, the takeoff or whatever you call it, the selling party or whatever. Not take any because I ain't want no headache the next day, honey, but I went up there and I got a Long Island and I think that was about $13 or something like that. So most of the drinks that I was t drinking was from 10 to $13. I do feel like eventually they should come up with a drink package. I do feel like that. I just felt like something was missing and that was one of the things. Like I'm just used to unlimited. I kind of was a little bit more aware because I knew that I was paying for it versus once it's already paid for. So I'm hoping that eventually this is an option on their sellings. Food, food. So honey, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of foods, honey. There's a lot, a lot of restaurants on board. I'm trying to figure out where the hell should I even start? <laughs> Making, let's start with reservations. You do need reservations at majority of these places. You will do so in the app. If you're having trouble with your app, I heard when some people saying it was lagging and shit like that, you can go down to seller services if you like or email them and let them know. To make sure you're booking it, especially if you're one of those ones that I eat between seven and eight, as soon as possible, as soon as you get access to it, because I noticed around this time slot, all of those times were gone, especially for those good restaurants. Yes, I did have some favorites. Brunch, they also offer brunch in Razzle Dazzle and The Wake, I believe. Did try brunch in Razzle Dazzle. It was decent, but it wasn't nothing to call home about. Food was good, but it wasn't my favorite. Those tots, girl, those tots at Razzle Dazzle, whoo, good. The test kitchen, we did not try. I could have sworn I had booked this reservation, but I guess somehow I didn't. I don't know how I missed it, because I tried to do one for each day, but we didn't get here. Pink Agave was pretty good. That was like my second best on the boat. It was a Mexican restaurant, and honey, that food was great. The enchiladas, guacamole, I had a taco dish, the corn, pulled pork, it was... Good, honey, good. Gambe, again, is a Korean barbecue restaurant. This is where it's kind of set up like Benihana, so they cook in front of you. It was pretty good. It was decent. I mean, you have to be open to trying new things. I'm going to say that because a lot of that shit was like, what the hell is this? Okay, I remember getting them. They came out with some type of chips that looked like it had like um maggots on top, honey. Oh, child, I couldn't get into the visual. But if you come with an open mind, okay, and a, 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 a hungry stomach, You'll do fine in this particular restaurant. You do sit around with people that you don't know, which is not bad. It can be good and bad depending on what type of person you are. Invert. Inverts. I don't know. Okay, I don't know about what you can do for this particular one. Maybe if you go with a group of people that you know. But it was not bad at all. Here you can get a, like a free shot when they played a little game. It was really nice, girl. It was nice. It was fun. I really, it was a fun environment. But I can say for our waiter that night, she was so focused on getting the food out that it took away the fun. She kept saying, okay, we're going to get to the game. We're going to get to the game. But let me just fix the food. And it's like, well, I feel like people were getting their drinks. They were getting, the, they were doing the game while the food was going. It was like more interaction. She was just trying to get through the motions and not be, I felt like it was because we was like the last people, table the time. So she wanted to do it in the order so that everything is clean. She can be, when we leave, she can go. Cause she saved that game for the dead last thing for us to do, honey. It was just like at this point, honey, we full. We ready to go, honey. We wanna keep hearing about we waiting on the damn game to start, okay? Extra virgin. We did not go to because my husband don't really like 
uh, Italian food. And again, on the app, you can view the menu for that place. So once we seen that they didn't really have an option where it wouldn't be much cheeses and things like that in there for lactose people, dairy-free people, we just decided to opt it out not to go. I did ask some people and they were not saying great things about it. I'm not really sure. Like I, I, I would have liked to taste it for myself. But maybe on a girl trip, I ever go again, I'll be able to do that. The Wake, The Wake was my favorite place on this ship. We went there twice. That's why I say when it comes to reservations, you can't show up and let them know that you don't have a reservation and you just want to, and they normally will take you, honey, with no problem. On the app, if you try to book it a second time, it tells you that, oh, we try to reserve the right for everybody to get a chance to try all the, 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 this whole message. But I contacted seller services. They told us that's no problem at all. So we went there and we ate again. Honey, that lamb, the steak, it was a soup. It was a soup. I think it's the only soup on the appetizer menu. I got the oysters here. I paid extra for the oysters. These sides were so good. The potatoes and the creamy spinach and the who child my mouth is watering. Just thinking about it, the mushrooms, like everything there was good that we tasted except the dessert, honey, because that dessert was not hitting on nothing. They said cheesecake. I'm expecting cheesecake to come out. When it come out, it look like a whole damn lemon ball. And it tastes like key lime pie. I wasn't feeling that. I feel like they should just advertise it as key lime pie. Yeah, they didn't really have that many options that I liked for the dessert. But honey, the dessert, honey, because the food was so good, I didn't even care about the dessert. It was really good. You definitely want to try this steak and seafood place. And I loved it that it was not an extra upcharge like some other cruises where you get steak and stuff you have to go to the steakhouse and pay extra like i love that the galley the galley is always the option we call this the cafeteria honey but it's called the galley we was calling the cafeteria the whole damn time see we had them renamed the thing but here you can be able to get there's different restaurants now when you get there honey don't go standing up there thinking you about to go and ask some people unless you're getting some of those little like they have like these little treat like a snack bar area you can go there and ask them for stuff but like the sushi is self-service well yes girl they had sushi down there they also have like a place for burgers they have a place for for like the noodle bowls the noodle bowl was good the burgers were good we had a place that were was for breakfast the breakfast was good we had a taco place the tacos was good like i tried everything in that little area try to be honest the only thing i did not try was they had like these little cold pops or popsicle things i've seen a lot of people having i never got around to trying that i noticed on here they did not have lines and that was because if you sit down the people will come to you and ask you what do you want they'll take your order yes they take your order so it prevents you from having to stand in line i really really love that that was a plus to me but overall the food was so good as far as seating though like if you have a problem with sitting with people you gonna have a problem because most of the seating was not really like personable like it was one of those type of setups where we sit here and then like a little bit over somebody else is seated there and then a little bit over you know what i'm saying so they can literally hear you if you don't speak a little low you know in a whisper voice and tone so it, it wasn't intimate at times like the atmosphere may be intimate the setup was it i don't know this ship really gets a a for me i'm a big foodie i love to try different foods now i can say they had like different snacks they had an ice cream place they had a pizza place for late night the pizza place stayed open i believe to either one or two the, but I noticed that a lot of these other places that was around where you can get snacks and get little stuff that you can hand, you know, pick up cookies and things and on the go ice cream. Girl, that damn ice cream, I think it was like yogurt or something. I'm, I can't remember. But it was so good. I tried the key lime and the sh strawberry milkshake really good with the red velvet cone. Oh, girl, I miss it already. Ugh, I'm having withdrawals, child. But they did not stay open late. They closed at 10. Like, we were going to dinner and we would start seeing them putting up stuff. And I'm I'm feeling like you should still have this open because people after they eat want to come out and have snacks i'm not really hard to please when it comes to food but i will tell them when the food ain't good and you should be able to everybody should be able to find good so even if you're on a diet i feel like they you could get stuff without carbs and that would still be a little tasty now some of it was lacking a little salt and pepper but they do have that on board some of the sauces that come with the foods is really good like girl it was just good the whole ship in itself i think let me just talk about that i want to say that this whole ship was very modern chic sleek very new like very i don't even know some of the words honey give me some of the words that i need to call this it it was just a look they had these different areas where you could be able to take pictures it was definitely very social media 
picture savvy. Here they had like this little swing area. They had a little setup for, we cruise during the Halloween time. So they had a little setup for like Halloween, spooky stuff. They had different areas. You would definitely find you somewhere where you could be able to take. They had the manor, in the manor, in the area where you walk through to go into where the show, the drag queen show in the club at. They had like this little light, mirrory type of decor girl you don't you, you you just wait i don't want to ruin everything but they had great places where you can be able to take some really cute pictures the scene was just very cute it was very 2022 it's definitely giving a little bit more younger vibe it was a look the boat they did very good with the decor they did very good with the colors and the 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 furnitures and 10 out of 10 for the look. 10 out of 10 for the look. Entertainment. I'm going to stress this, honey. I'm going to stress this. Make sure you are booking those classes ahead of time and do not wait till you get your ass on that shit because you're going to be very disappointed. I did reach out to seller services trying to get into some of these classes, honey, but they were like there was no space. Specifically, the mixology, mixology class there was no room it was like about $30 $35 but they had a lot of different classes that will require a fee most of the classes I think were pretty free like exercising classes entertainment that was always something to do or not do on this boat you can go all the way to the top deck sit with yourself or in one of the jacuzzis and chill alone or you can go and hit, hang with the shenanigans it's always a show going on whether it be a live band doing covers or a drag show or some type of show happening on this cruise ship i am gonna say that i felt like after a certain time things fizzled out if you're not the type that like to go to a club then you pretty much are left with nothing to do unless you go and chill off somewhere on the sideline by yourself basically the entertainment was decent I do feel like something was missing though. Music. I know a lot of people was concerned. I remember seeing this in the groups about music, music. Will they cater to everybody? I am going to say that there was disco tech and, and techno and house music. Yes, you will get that. Okay. And sometimes I was just like, okay, this is enough. I done had enough of this scene, you know, but there also were times where they play music that I liked or play like a little bit of what you hear on the radio, basically. The sellaway party. I don't know who the hell that DJ was, but that DJ was DJing, okay? And understood the assignment. They was playing Cardi, Yin Yang Twins, things to get up, get your ass, shaking your ass. They played the Puerto Rican for the Spanish folks. They played for the black folks. They played for the white folks. Now, whatever you wanted, they had, every, they was giving everything at that sellaway party. I was kind of looking for that for the remainder of the cruise ship, but I didn't find it except in the manor, which was the club. Like I said, club scene. I felt like by the pool, there should have been more of that same energy we were getting music but it almost sounded like they were playing some type of spotify or uh pandora music type it, it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to the manor club now the manor club especially late night they were jamming like they did a lot of you got a hundred dollar bills put your hands up you got a twenty dollar bill put your hands up hip pop parade oh hey jump around jump jump up and get down jump jump Jump, everybody jump. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. This is how we do it. Sha -la 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 -la. But tonight's gonna be a good night. Like they was playing stuff at one point. I remember, I even remember the line of it. I think that must have been the same DJ because he's kept playing the same songs in order. So it's like. It's stuff that you know, but it may not necessarily be stuff that you want to hear. Does that make sense? Maybe if you done had a few shots or drinks in your system, you wouldn't even mind. You probably wouldn't even pay attention. One night, they did play a little Megan. They played a little Cardi. But it was not a lot. Definitely no rap, child. Don't even go on there thinking you about to um, do rap. Now, if you want to take your little speaker, because a lot of people had them on board. I don't know if they're allowed, but people had them. It was, it was decent. Like, it was always something to do. Karaoke. They had karaoke. I stayed there, honey. I love me some karaoke. Um, but the, the crowd, it's about who's there, the participation. And a lot of those people were singing country songs or singing, 
you know, stuff that I ain't never even heard of before. You gotta be open to that because I'm sure when I went up, honey, okay, I did Anaconda. And when I went up, some of them probably ain't even know what I was doing. Then you had a whole lot of them that knew the song as well. So it just kind of depends. The drag show, I like my husband. We didn't even last too long enough because he just was like, no, nah, this not for me. So it was more for me wanting to go, not for him. They had a little bar where you could be able to watch sports. Most of the shows was really for me. Like he would go because of me. We really liked the live band. I can't remember their name. I'm gonna put a picture here. They did one night where they did covers of nothing but R&B and hip hop. Honey, they were playing Luther, Isley, Patty, Petty, Pettigrass, they was playing all of that old school Bruno, doing covers for all of these people. They were jamming. I didn't want it to stop. I didn't want it to end. I wanted that to be given more than once on the ship, but it was only given one time. I was so disappointed. That there, I could have did that the whole entire cruise. I, I understand that you have to cater to everybody, so I feel like everybody will get catered to. They will not be heavy on the cater too when it comes to hip hop, rap, R&B. They won't be heavy on it. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm gonna tell you what I experienced. I can't speak for nobody else crews. I can only talk about what happened for mine. He didn't even play no music that was like to get you up on your feet, like the cha-cha slide. Like how you don't play that in a crowd, like a, in a crowd, in an environment where there's a lot of people to get people up. Electric slide, the wobble, Macarena, hell. I would've went out there and do the, um, la, 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 me a Macarena, the, da, 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 da. Like, I would've went out there, no problem. But they didn't do that. And I was like, damn, you know, like, I just felt like that should have been, we drinking, everybody gonna get up and do shit like that. I just, Tussie roll, honey. Come through the butterfly. Uh oh, uh, that's old. Let me see the tussie roll. You know, I was just expecting a little bit more for it to be an adult environment. Can't say that when they played those songs, they did play the clean version just in case if anybody, you know, holier than thou that's getting on the plug on the boat. Don't want to hear that. It will be no cussing up involved. Let's get into these pools and jacuzzis because that's part of the entertainment for me. Honey, that construction of that pool, that's one of my least favorite things on this boat. I didn't even get into the pool on boat. I got into the pool when we was at port, but I get to that. Honey, the way they got that shit crowned up and small and it feel like everybody just kumbaya and one like little circle, like I don't like it. It's a lot of space up there. Take that shit and spread it out further. Make it a little bit wider so I won't feel like I'm looking in sus face right across from me. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't... It was just small. I did like that they had like this little thing where you can get up there and like dance in the water. You didn't have to actually be inside the water if it makes any sense. I liked it that. That was different. But yeah, it was just a no for me with the pool. Like, And then the thing about the pool, you got to come early, baby. You got to come early because if you don't, you will not have nowhere to sit. No people be bogarting. They be out there early trying to be out there sun tanning and, 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 and things like that. So, honey, you might luck up coming across a chair that's by the pool. Especially coming around the time we be coming, like 12, <laughs> 1 o'clock, things like that. So, but that pool design is horrible. It's too small. They do have jaco jacuzzis. They have one, like a two on the top, two or three at the top deck. And then they had like a few around. They had a few around. Those were nice. We did get into those, but it's just the whole pool environment was just a no for me. They did have PJ nights. I know some. People was like, um, I'm too old to be pajama, but it was just the fun of it, honey. We put them matching PJs on and took our ass down there to the party, okay? It was fun. It, we just kind of just let loose, celebrated our anniversary, and just kind of just went with the flow of things. And as long as you come with that open mind, you're going to have a good time. I did not take the yoga class because it was so loud. I did not go to the, the fitness. I did want to do the spin class because I've always wanted to do one on Groupon. I was like, well, why not do it and it's included in the price, but I never could make it. Those time frames, honey, Virgin Voyages, if y'all happen to watch this video, y'all need to accommodate all time frames, okay? All time frames. I see a lot of that stuff they have for 7, 8, 9, 10. They don't really have a whole lot of things that I really would, especially like classes, the ones that I was looking for. They had some, but not the ones I was looking for. In the morning, like, people done been drinking last night at the club all night. You got us trying to wake up at 8 o'clock to go to yoga. Like, girl, honey, make it make sense. I do have a spa on board, which I did not take advantage of. But if you do want to take advantage of it, girl, let me fill you in on a secret, honey. Do it at port. The spa pass 39 when they're in port and 59 when everybody's on the cruise ship. So it'll be smart. And I'm hoping that the prices will reflect based on that as well i'm assuming so if you did want to take advantage i did ask them what come with the pass and it was the salt room the sauna room the steam room hot tubs and things like that 
I did not get a chance to go down there. I didn't even really hear anybody talking about the spot. And those prices were pretty expensive, honey. Those prices was pricing. I'm the type of person when I go to a spa, I like to have like a combination type of package where I can get the facial, the massage, all that. But for the prices that they had it for one thing, I was like, yeah, no, I, rather, I might as well wait till I get back home. Excursions. Okay, so this cruise ship that I was on went to Dominican Republic, Puerto Plata, and Bimini Bahamas. I'm gonna start with the Bimini Bahamas first because yeah, that, it's gonna be quick, fast, in a hurry, honey. I loved, love, love, love the process of getting off. You just scan your band and going out. We went out a little bit later in the day. I was looking for the same energy though. Um, they do have it where they have like a beach club that they would that is specifically for people who are for from Virgin Voyages, and they would come and pick you up on this little trolley and they'll ride you through this little neighborhood. And they will drop you off at a certain area if you're doing excursions. And if you wanted to go to the beach, you will hold on and they'll take you down to there. When you got there, uh, those chairs was taken up, especially the ones with the umbrella. So, honey, I would suggest coming later or earlier. I want to want to also make mention that this particular cruise ship, which I really like, stays at the ports a little longer versus the other ones. I think a lot of them be wanting you to be back about 4. I think this one says 7.30 or 6 30 but it was later than what i remember on other cruise ships um but when i went out there to that area it was very nice they had food out there they had drinks people come bring the drinks to you which i love they had two different pools they had floats only thing they was missing was the phone honey i was just ready for them to break out with the phone but no it never happened they had a few little dance shows while they was out there the music was still the same they must have took that same dj out, out that way because it was the still the same type of thing and it wasn't given enough like i felt like it should have been more excitement more people i just feel like it probably was based on the crowd and i want to say that the the boat capacity i think was about a thousand people someone told me when i was talking with them on the ship but i just felt like something was missing the water was so clear and pretty like everything out there was very nice well kept uh just it was giving. The pool was the pool. This was giving me the resort vibe. Like, I'm normally traveling when we travel. We like to travel to resorts, all inclusives and things like that. And this was definitely giving me the resort energy, honey. The pools was the way I liked it. Spacious, wide, set out, you know, two of them. Beach balls and, 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 and floaties and things like that. All of that. The music, all of that. The drinks flowing. It definitely gave that energy, but it was just missing something. It just wasn't enough umph. I did remember someone telling us that they rented a cart for like $80 or something, and they rode around the area, and they said Bimini is really small. They was able to do it within 20 to 30 minutes. I'm like, whoa, really? So, yeah, that's an option. They do have excursions also. I remember jet skiing being about $250 per person. Maybe you can find it cheaper and go through other places. That was with the boat. I liked it. Bimini, don't get me wrong. It was very nice. It was very, it wasn't, it was hot, but it wasn't too hot. I would just recommend you maybe doing the spa day that day if you want to take advantage of the spa. And then coming later, since they leave so late out. Um, you don't have to be there all day, all night, honey, okay? Because you won't be missing nothing out there. Also ported the first day at Porta Plata. Playa or something like that. Now, we've been in Dominican Republic, but we went to Putacana. So, it was nice to be in a different port in Dominican Republic. And it was really nice. They even have this whole thing when you walk out. They have this little free car that you can ride back and forth if you don't want to walk this little, the, the runway. I'm going to call it the runway because it was a long-ass walk. And then you go out and it's like these places that have all these resort style food and a place where you can be able to go chill by the beach. And I don't know if it's free. I'm assuming that it's a fee. It was kind of like what it was given on the boat, but out in the area. Does that make sense? So it was, I can't remember the name to save my life, but they had like a duty free where you can go pick up liquor and restaurants. And they even had this fish spa, which I did take advantage of. I always wanted to do that for only $20. Child, you can't even, that was so affordable for 15 minutes. So I did that. We booked with J. Carlos Travels. We paid about $120. And they took us on a tour of the city. Honey, when I tell you we had the best amazing time. When we arrived, they hold up the sign with your name on it to let you know that, hey, baby, I'm here waiting on you. They were so accommodating. Like I told them that we are gonna we like to sleep in, so don't arrive there too early. They was there waiting on us. The van was air conditioned. It was private, okay? When we got there, they asked us prior to going, 
Um, was is there a specific drink that we like to drink? I told them that I wanted to try the Mama Wanna, however you say it, child. Okay, not to be sake of a marijuana, honey, but the Mama Wanna. It was like a, a local drink. He had it on board. He had it on date. They even gifted me my own to take home. It was so sweet. They had Heineken's for my husband, water, sodas, in ice cups. Everything you can imagine. It was so nice to have him as your tour guide because, again, you know that Dominican they speak Spanish. Some do speak English as well, but it was nice for him to be able to relay. I had a toothache, needed to go to the pharmacy. He stopped there. He even paid for us. He had the money. You know, he was like, Yeah, you know, I don't want you to have to spend your money because you're going to get back Dominican money. You probably won't spend it. He went out of his way. Shout out to Jahaziel. Jahaziel. I'm going to put his name here. He was our tour guide. He was everything. He took us around. He made us feel comfortable. We went to the cigar factory. We went to the like little museum thing. We look at the Amber, I think it was called. Went to the rum factory tour. Their Puerto, Ric uh, Puerto Rican child. Look at me. Dominican rum tasting. And then from there, we went around the city. He took us to different like places where we could be able to take pictures like one of the popular spots were the pink and the umbrellas. And we tried a coffee shot. He also took us around. We even did this like this little cart thingy. What is it called? Sky cart or something. I can't even remember. But everything was included in the price that we paid. As far as like the entry fees to these particular locations. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I'll be sure to put all of their contact information down in the description box in case you would like to also use them for services while you're in this particular port. But in the app, you can also book your excursions if you don't want to go through a third party or go off. I found this particular company on Facebook in the groups for the cruise. But you also can use some of your seller loot. If you have any to be able to book excursions through the actual Virgin Voyages website. Disembarkation. Very simple. I didn't remember getting a, re a hearing, the captain, or anybody leaving notes or something attached to the door saying that if you would like to have them pick up your luggage to take it downstairs, that that's an option. I did notice some people putting their luggage in front of their doors, though. So I guess that's an option. You would have to ask somebody to figure out how exactly it works. But we walked down with our luggage and we walked through very quickly. You have to get off the ship by 1030. All of this information, by the way, is found in the elevators. Those nice ass elevators that they have. They also have like the information on where you need to go to get off like deck four to disembark and so forth. So just look out if you don't know. We walked down with our things. We woke up about 8.30ish, I think, 9. Walked down and went through without a problem. There was no lines. We just, all you needed was your passport to get off. And it was going to scan your bracelet and look at your passport. And you're pretty much off the ship and back to reality. Everything went fast. There was no lines. There was no confusion. There was no, none of that. They do offer breakfast and things like that. There were some people even in the pools and lounging around that was waiting right into the last drop. You do have that option if you want to, but we wanted to go ahead and go. I also want to say that the bracelet tends to come a loose a lot. So you might want to keep checking it to be sure. I can't even believe that it's still holding on like it's holding on because when we was on board, every time you look, the bracelet was coming off honey good thing we did not lose it i feel like i just cover a whole lot of tea that you will need prior to you selling on virgin voyages with the scarlet lady but if i miss anything boo go ahead and come down in the comments and ask me baby i talk back because I gave you so much valuable information, I would really appreciate if you go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'll let YouTube know that this needs to be on everybody's homepage so that they can be able to receive the tea as well. If you felt the good vibes, be sure to subscribe. I think I'm going to do a video about things that I wish I knew prior, just to kind of give everybody like a little cheat sheet. Um, so you definitely gonna wanna stick around for that. If you made it to the end of this video, be sure to put this emoji there and down in the comments, boo. That's how I'ma know it's real. And I wanna thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video. Until next time, later.